Hello everyone and welcome back to the CO2 Rundown. I'm your host Chad Owens. Happy Wednesday, midweek, peak of the week. I hope you're all in your groove today. We've got an exciting show for you guys today. As always, lots going on in the world of sports. Uh, but before we get into it, I want to say mahalo to Long Drugs for all of their support of the show. Let's continue to support local and making Long Drugs a part of our days. Let's dive on in to the CO2 Rundown. Man, we lost a legend the other day in, in Jim Leahy, right? The voice of UH Sports. Dave Ridden has an article in today's Home uh, Star Advertiser speaking of the, the impact, uh, not just in Hawaii, but man, all across um, that Jim Leahy made. You know, I put out a post saying, man, you know, thank you, your voice, your energy, your passion in which you brought to UH Sports. And for me, personally, being able to experience that, you know, hearing his voice, you know, while I'm on the return, right, while watching the playbacks, watching the TV copies, his voice added that much more excitement to the play. I'm getting goosebumps because, you know, um, and I, and I, I captioned this, I said, legends never die. It's, it's, it's true, right? Jim Leahy is a legend. And I know Kanoa, hey, he's filling in that spot and he's, he's going to do an amazing job. And he's been doing an amazing job uh, filling in for Pops. And so with that, Kanoa, hey, I want to thank you for taking the reins, um, stepping in to those big shoes and doing extremely well. So Uncle Jim, just want to say thank you so much. Uh, we know that you're looking down on all of us right now, and we will forever be able to hear that voice, that unique, one-of-a-kind voice forever. Rest in paradise. Aloha. Our University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior football team has been busy this offseason in recruiting, and with signing day approaching, they are ready to sign three new defenders, one of which is the son of a longtime NFL player, a speedy cornerback, and a local edge rusher. We've got more in today's Honolulu Star Advertiser on this story, but I just got to say this. We've been doing an amazing job in recruiting. I'm loving the process that I'm seeing. I'm loving the additions, and a lot of it is on the defensive side. Defense wins championships, right? So they're going to make that the staple. Our defense needs to be the anchor. Our defense needs to be, you know, that energy. And offensively, right, going full on run and shoot, I just know and believe that that's, that alone is going to give us a chance to score points, right? This, that system is going to give us a chance to be better, to lead the league in passing, to get you know, in, in the leading the, the nation in passing. That's the goals, you know? And, and so that's why I think we're solidifying our defense, right? Adding speed, adding depth, adding size, adding physicality. Because that's what we're about. That's what Rainbow Warrior football is, right? <laughs> we come in and, 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 and hit people, right? Statements. And when we're at home, right, in this new 15,000 See, Satan, that's going to be retrofitted here coming up shortly. That's going to start the process. Right, we need that place packed. We need the energy. We need everybody to buy in because that's what we feed off of. We feed off of the energy of the crowd, right? We feed off of each other making big plays. And so uh, I'm just excited. I cannot wait um, to, to see how even spring ball unfolds, which starts next week. So I'm going to be there. I'm going to be tuning in. I'm going to be getting you guys updates on how our Rainbow Warrior football team is shaping up and looking this spring. Our University of Hawaii Rainbow Wahine basketball team struggles continue and unfortunately lost two key players to season-ending injuries. Uh, Jovi Lefotu and Jackie David. Is, the season is done. They got lower leg injuries. And that's very unfortunate. You know, it's they're, they're like role players. They're debt players. Every, every pl player on a basketball team 
any team is extremely important. But especially in basketball, you only got five at a time, right? You're just starting five. But you got bench players, you got role players. And in sports, you know, it's like, hey, knowing your role and doing extremely well at, at that role. Hey, those two young ladies were doing that. And, you know, but on the flip side, right, I talk about injuries a lot in sports because it's part of it. What an injury does to the athlete, because I've had a bunch of them, right, it gives you a chance to reflect on things, to, to dive deep into your body, understanding how it works. The rehab process can be, can be tough depending on the injury. But it allows you to have that, that fight and that fire to say, I'm going to come back stronger. I'm going to come back better. I'm going to work that much harder. So for them, right, that's looking at the positive. That's finding the positive. In, in, that, in that sort of negative. On the other side, hey, someone's got to step up, right? That's going to allow another player to get more time and to develop. And who knows? It could develop into a star, right? It could de develop into a, a, a Big West conference player. All those things, right? So injuries, we have to look at it from both sides. Um, but hey, I'm believing on the positive side, right? There needs to be a new energy. The whole team needs to come together that much more now. Everyone's got to step up in each of their roles. Hey, you got to become better at doing your, your part. All right, we got to pick up the slack. And, you know, with that, this could provide a new energy for this team that's, that's needed. And they're a talented football team. I mean, basketball team, excuse me. <laughs> I get so locked into football sometimes. They are a very talented basketball team they're defending champs right and that's the goal right is it attainable still of course of course next woman up let's go let's ride and so uh i just encourage you guys to continue to work hard work even harder than you've ever worked before stay positive stay uplifted and um just take it one possession at a time one practice at a time all right let's go both one of my favorite columns that we have in the sports section of the a uh, Honolulu Star Advertiser, is the Hawaii Grown Report. And today, I was blown away when I read this. Iolani alum Tori Maeda, who is currently at Central Washington playing basketball, all right, she has decided that next year she's going to switch from basketball to softball. I mean, that's an athlete right there but before she does that they're still trying to take care of business this year for the remainder of this uh this basketball season she's trying to help central washington get back to the ncaa division two west regional tournament uh that's first on the on the on the checklist but after that she's transitioning to softball now look this is and I've, i tell parents this all the time don't pigeonhole your your child into one sport and thinking that's the best thing for them well-rounded athletes is what colleges want being a well-rounded athlete helps develop you as an athlete playing different sports yeah if you focus on one sport you will get really good you hone in on certain skills but it takes athleticism to be, to, to be successful. Having your body being in different positions, right? having to explode and decelerate in different positions. And every sport has its um, different opportunities to do that. Right? So, Tori, hey, I just want to say congratulations. That is an unbelievable um, goal that you're setting. Uh, you're challenging yourself, but I know you believe in yourself. You wouldn't be doing it if you didn't believe you could, right? And I'm sure those coaches believe you can as well, so that encouragement helps. But at the end of the day, uh, parents, athletes, play multiple sports, become a well-rounded athlete because you never know. Just like when you go to college, right? it's not very often that you can switch sports like that. You can change your major. You, you, you're dabbling in this you know, major, and you're like, ah, you know what, I, I don't, I'm not feeling that. I want to go into, you can do that. But to, to, to midstream adjust and change into a different sport at the college level, 
That's, that's tough. But she's been prepared for that because she's been an athlete. Right? She hasn't been a basketball player. She's been an athlete her whole life. So I just want to say congratulations, Tori. Good luck and uh, get back to that regional tournament. After 23 unbelievable football seasons, NFL football seasons, the GOAT of all GOATs, Tom Brady, is retiring once again. But he said this time, it's for good. Um, you know, I think this is a great time for Tom Brady to, to hang him up. I mean, he's got seven Super Bowl rings, six with New England, one with Tampa Bay. You know, it's a hall, he's got a Hall of Fame career. He's got nothing else to prove on the football field, although... At 45 years old, he still broke NFL records this past season for most uh, passing attempts and most completions in a season. He still has a skill set to probably keep playing. But I think for Tom Brady, his, his drive was always winning Super Bowls. And I think maybe he feels at this time um, that goal might be out of reach. And, you know, he's got... A 10-year, $375 million contract sort of waiting for him with Fox Sports as a lead analyst. So, you know, weighing all the options, money is not the issue, right? Tom Brady was, had, has that competitive drive. And it's what has driven him every single year for the past 23 years, 23 seasons, to go out and be the best. And... You know, like I said, I think this is a perfect time for Tom Brady to hang it up. We've got a lot of amazing young quarterbacks that he inspired that are playing at a high level today that's going to carry on the game, that's going to take the game to the next level. Um, you know, we don't know if we'll ever see another Tom Brady-like quarterback. Seven Super Bowl rings. Uh, you know, hey, could Patrick Mahomes get there? Yeah, possibly. You know, hey, look at... Jalen Hurts, these two guys are young and talented, and they're playing this year's Super Bowl. But Tom Brady, for now, is that pinnacle. He is that dude. And so with that, I just want to say, you know, hey, thank you, Tom Brady, for 23 amazing, inspirational, storytelling seasons, Hall of Fame career. Um, no one else like you, man. You're the goat of goats. And good luck. On the next chapter, I know transition is one of those things that, that no matter what, because it's not about the money. He's got that money waiting for him as a sports analyst, but it's not about the money. You know, we, we, we just love the game. I had a hard time transitioning out. And so has so many others. So Tom Brady, I know that was one of his things, and maybe he got it out of his system, you know, and he's ready to move on. So good luck with your future endeavors. We will continue to cover Tom Brady as his uh, retirement rolls ahead. Some great news out in Miami and for us here locally in Hawaii where um, Tua Tungavaloa, Dolphins starting quarterback, has finally cleared concussion protocol uh, a month into it. Um, and, you know, it was already stated, right? Tua is the Dolphins quarterback. will be going into the 2023 season as their starting quarterback. Doctors assured Everyone that he will not be more susceptible to head injuries. He's in the clear. Uh, he's, they've taken extra time to ensure that he's in the clear. And so with that, um, I know that there were some talks. There's some you know, people chiming in thinking Tua should retire. Uh, at the end of the day, that's his decision. I know he's a competitor. I don't see him retiring. Um, I just want to see him healthy for a full season um, and, and, and reach his max potential because he finished the 2022 season as the league's, uh, with the league's highest passer rating. Hey, them boys are on fire. And I truly believe this. If Tua was able to stay healthy for the entire season, no concussions, the Miami Dolphins might be in the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm just saying it. They might be in the Super Bowl because of the weapons that they have. Um, so, We'll see. It's gonna be. It's a long off season. He's got more time to rest, more time to develop, and um, you know, I'm just looking forward to seeing him back again, healthy. So, with that, that's amazing news. Congrats, Tua, and uh, we're gonna continue to follow your journey. 
And that is it for today's show. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And I also want to let you know, please, go get the Honolulu Star Advertising newspaper. Take a look at all these articles. And then the rest of the sports stories. I'm going to keep saying it. We've got some amazing writers, editors, um, and we've got amazing athletes here. Right? We have amazing athletes. So go show them some love. Read the newspaper. Cut out the clippings. Right? I, I mean, that's... That's special stuff. If you're a local prep athlete, your name gets into the newspaper. I know parents, grandparents, hey, cut it out, save the papers, go get that. Okay, thank you guys so much again. I'm gonna see you all on Aloha Friday.